gotten here since I was since I arrived to be back. And I've looked at the program and the sandwich the committed sandwich in between Bob, who beat me in 1950 11th breakup. And all comes out to me, he beat me in 89. I had the best team in the league, he beat me. And so, and I'm in Regina where I gotta expect the east side to cheer for me. So if you're a Saskatchewan fan, you can understand my apprehension, being apprehensive, simply because we just don't like each other. Let's just be real, right? No, 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 we just didn't like each other. We competed at the highest level, and the teams I played with just don't like you people. <laughs> okay? So, and I bet y'all say, how can you get up there and say that? Well, because I'm telling you the truth, right? <laughs> but tonight we'll come to a common ground of understanding. Well, we'll enjoy the evening. And I gotta tell you, Roger, the East Side was phenomenal during the game. They really uh, put everything aside that has happened in the past, and they understand the significance of this moment. For me and my family, they really understood the significance of having the, the Canadian Football Hall of Fame here in uh, the province of Saskatchewan. And I got to commend the, the, the CFR Hall of Fame Committee, the Canadian Football Hall of Fame Committee for uh, picking this province and uh, the two cities, Regina and Saskatoon. I commend you because you have done an outstanding job in welcoming me and my family into the hall in 2010. Thank you very much. And I was a little afraid that the commission was going to jump on board as well when he said that Saskatchewan was con the Canadian team. So I was a little afraid when he said that. I said, well, now the commission is involved. <laughs> so, but here the commission is very quickly and very well because you know this being taped. And it'll be on TSN tonight if he says something out of line. So you're back in line, commissioners. Thank you very much. And we appreciate your phone call as well. Thank you. <laughs> so I got I asked the question several times. How did I get here? And when you look, look back on my life, a little more from high school floor, um, the young side of six. And I would often say that uh, just a little, little country boy um, from high school floor. Uh, three boys and three girls. And when I look back on, on my life and, and think about how did I get here, um, I think about my sisters and brothers, the start of it. Um, my youngest sister, I'll start with you first because she already crying. <laughs> so we'll just get her out the way and, and we'll just get her out. My, my youngest sister, Theodra, she and I was the last two in the house. And when I wrote the email to her and my sister and brother. And when she left the house to go to college, a part of me left. And then my sister Gail, my oldest sister, uh, she was just a major out of the family. She would keep me in line. When I wanted to go, she said no. And I would sneak out anyway. <laughs> and, that, and then my sister Lisa, who's no longer with us, she was just the spiritual, uh, she was just the spirit of our family. And then my brother, Willie Lee, my oldest brother, uh, he was just the rock of the family. And then my brother, Donald, uh, he just sacrificed everything. His career in football, he sacrificed everything for me. Thank you. Tracy, my 
my youngest was born in Everton. He was the pride of life. Still in his favor. Uh, they just brought joy to me. And, and so I'm continuing to understand how I got here. I got here from through a great family commitment. And then I love for the Lord. She taught Valerie was really a um, just you know, brought a spirit to our home. And, and we just really, really appreciate the 20 plus years we've been married. It's been absolutely great. And I thank you for you sacrificing your career to let me enjoy my dream. And you have become the integral part of my life. And I appreciate that. I thank you so much. all my time tonight, okay? <laughs> and so the question comes up, the question comes up, how did I get here? And then you go to your college, classmates and teammates, Ricky Harris, you see here, Herman Barron, you know, we won. Now, let's not, let's not forget, I have won championships going back to college. So, Ricky Harris, teammate, Herman Barron, teammate, Robert Baker, great teammates, college, great college teammates, Great college class, Mike, Mike, Mike and Trina Curry, um, John and Barry, John, O'Hara, guys from Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern was the foundation. And you go on to your, uh, your professional teammate, uh, Craig Gallagher, he's going on the film. Um, guys that just catch the ball, no matter where you're throwing at. And then what makes it even more easy, you have a Hall of Fame running back, Mike Pringle. Uh, Mike, I, I need to ask you to stand up, my friend. life much easier, but when I got Mike Pringle on my team, um, I really matured as a player and as a person, uh, understanding the game. I started understanding the game better. I understood what my role was. I understood um, how I was supposed to play the game. I understood what it meant to sacrifice uh, numbers for win. You, you set yourself aside and you play the game how it was meant to be played. You play the game with a lot of passion. Uh, you play uh, the game with a lot of respect. Uh, I have so much respect for the CFL and this game and the fans uh, that it's just been, uh, it's just great having great teammates. Uh, and so you, the question is, how did I get here? Well, I had great teammates. And then I played on great teams. I played on great teams. Uh, I played on Edmonton. Edmonton was uh, uh, the ideal place for me. I was very competitive. Edmonton was a place that it just bred quarterbacks. And, and I followed the shoes. The succession went Warren Moon, Tom Wilkins, Warren Moon, Matt Duncan, David Allen, Tracy Ann. Why are they? Those are Hall of Fame quarterbacks. So I'm sitting in a city that created Hall of Fame quarterbacks. And so I learned to play the game in a city that certainly uh, demanded a lot. And it was the perfect environment for me. Because if you demand a lot out of me, you, you got a lot. And Edmonton certainly demanded a lot. Toronto was uh, a year of growth. I grew a lot. Even though I wasn't playing, you know, I could have been bitter about the game my year in Toronto, but really I stepped back and I looked at the game different when I was in Toronto. I understood that I was part of a team, and it was not about me, it was about the team. So if the coach decided not to put me in, then I was going to help the guy that was in. And so that was uh, one of the better years for me mentally in Toronto. And then to go to Baltimore, just a great organization. Great football players. <coughs> and then to end up in Montreal. I'm in love with Montreal. I really love Montreal. Um, there was no question about what uh, band I would wear when I got up there. It was an alouette uh, without any doubt because I love Montreal. Um, Bob Wetnall did a great, um, he was a great owner. He still is a great owner in this league. And that's what makes the league so special. You get good on it. And we certainly have one in Montreal. So you play with. Good team. That's the question comes up, how did I get here? Uh, got good family. Uh, good teammates, good teams, good owners, and then finally it was just a great league. This league certainly suited me and my ability. This is a family's league for African American quarterbacks. When they say we couldn't, the CFL said we want you to. Uh, and so coming to the
come into a league that embrace you um, and give you an opportunity to showcase your skills and be a leader uh, of, a, of a team which um, in my part of the country they were saying I, we can't leave. And this league allowed me to be uh, what I had been born to be. I was a quarterback. Um, several times I was asked to switch positions and I couldn't comprehend playing anything other than quarterback. And the CFL said, yes, come play quarterback. And so I end up in the CF Canadian Football Hall of Fame because you allow me to do what I So I say thank you. Uh, I commend, I celebrate with you, Joe. I celebrate with you, Danielle. In, Adam, in Alfred's absence, we celebrate with you, Danielle. Uh, we celebrate with you, Bob. And we celebrate and uh, we send out the notice to you. Guys. You truly have become a part of our family. And we love you. Uh, we really send out sincere condolences to you and your family. Thank you for allowing me this time. Uh, we're just excited. Uh, I never thought I'd see the day where I would say I'm so excited to be in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put on the night because certainly we will give away to Donald and it is, uh, it is truly an honor uh, to go into the Hall of Fame with this crew. Uh, we will be able to be linked together. Uh, we should call each other and come back when it comes back to Saskatchewan. If you come, I'll come. And I know you're coming because they're going to bring you back. Thank you. We appreciate you and thank you so much.